Neuroplastoma is the most common solid tumor in children in their first year of life and accounts for roughly 15% of childhood cancer-related deaths. It emerges when immature nerve cells, so-called neuroplasts, grow out of control during embryonic development. Clinical causes range from harmless variants to very aggressive high-risk tumors that require immediate intensive treatment. Although great efforts have been made to implement new treatment regimens, such as immunotherapies, the long-term survival of patients with metastatic high-risk neuroblastoma is still unsatisfactory. Only about half of these children survive the disease in the long term. Two research groups of St. Anna Children's Cancer Research Institute are devoted to investigate neuroblastoma. One of them is the group of Professor Ruth Ladenstein. Today I'm very uh, happy to have uh, a minute with you to talk about neuroblastoma, which is uh, the second most, most commonest childhood uh, solid tumor entity and very fascinating for a researcher. Over the last decades, we have gained a lot of knowledge uh, based on biomarker studies that differentiate the risk in this particular entity. Whereas in the beginning, we were relying on stage with uh, less intensive treatment for low stage and high intensive treatment for metastatic disease. We have learned today that the biomarkers, particularly MIGN amplification, and uh, more to come and more under investigation, like for example, ALK alterations, ALK mutations, all play a major role to really judge the risk right for a patient's treatment. We are very happy that we contributed in the past uh, to develop a, a specific immunotherapy uh, with dinotuximab beta for these particular children, again improving the outcome and survivals by 20%. But the way does not stop here. We are happy to have uh, really uh, established new standards through large-scale trials that were coordinated through the uh, St. Anna Children's uh, Research Institute. And uh, we foresee that in the future even more fine-tuning will take place and we hope that we find uh, with new treatments uh, um, and new uh, ideas in, in drug development even more refined strategies so that uh, we just give according to the risk what is really needed and precision medicine, that's the magic word here, really enters broadly into our fields whereas first steps are done as of today. So we're looking forward to the future that uh, things will further improve for these children and uh, by the way for all children with childhood cancer. Thank you.